Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie, you're watching Reliable Roots. Today's video is an unboxing and a walkthrough of the level six language arts for the good and the beautiful. So I have a lot to catch up on. If you have followed my channel, you might have seen a lot of posts and videos about uh, Waldorf curriculums and this curriculum is not a Waldorf curriculum. It's more of a traditional curriculum. It is also a Christian based curriculum. And so I'm just going, I just unboxed it. I just got it out of the box. Let me start off by saying that we have been using the good and the beautiful for a few years now I used to use oak meadow before that we used earth schooling we have switched around quite a bit with different curriculums because children have different needs at different varying stages of life and so right now this is working well with us the level six course book it looks like this now one thing about the good and the beautiful is that it's it's different from curriculums i've used in the past because it doesn't carry over year after year. So this is not something that you would use with your additional children because you're going to be writing in it as you go. Um, so you might even be cutting out things or pasting things. And so it is a, it's a workbook and it's also a learning book all in one. So there's not separate books for that. This one at the bottom, you can see that it says literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. All of that is in this one course book. We have been using the free version of this. The Good and the Beautiful offers free versions for their math and their language arts, as well as at least one science curriculum that I'm aware of on their website. So you can just download that directly. We've been using that for about 20 some odd lessons right now, simply because I didn't want to buy it until I was ready to buy everything. So I have several more curriculums that I also bought at the same time. So now we have the actual book, but we're already like 20 lessons into this. So I know a little bit about how this is going. By level six, my daughter who is using this is pretty self-sufficient. So she, there's just a little bit at the beginning that I will be dictating sentences to her and going over spelling. And other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty much all on her. There are some really beautiful illustrations inside of here that uh, take up a lot of ink if you do use the free version. So just a little warning about that is that those will take up all the ink in your printer. I want to also showcase the other things that go along with the level six language arts. And one of which is the level six reader. I believe, I wanna say that there's three different books inside of the level six reader. She already read the first one. She seemed to really like it. It was about a lighthouse. That's about all I remember about her telling me about that. The other thing that The Good and the Beautiful comes with when you buy their language art level six kit is these grammar and geography cards. I am not gonna open this up, but I will show you some of her old ones because these also came with level five, which we are also bought. It's for levels five through seven. So if you buy multiple years, then you will get multiple years worth of these grammar and geography cards. So basically the instructions for this is that you are going to store these instructions and the cards in a box Box, coupon organizer or a set of envelopes or pouches with tabs or labels and you mark them learning mastered or not learned so you're gonna practice five to ten cards at a time which are st stored under learning and then once the child has mastered a card and they can say the answer without hesitation on the very first time the card is gonna go into mastered so you're gonna review the mastered card once every one to two weeks to ensure that they still have mastered the card. Finally, my favorite is the answer key because we are getting into higher levels now, which quite aren't quite so easy as the elementary school years. And so this is the answer key to all of the language arts. This answer key is a little bit different from other answer keys that I bought from the Good and the Beautiful. There are no colorful pictures on it, but that's okay. This is mostly just for me and I will hand this over to my daughter for her to self-check and check her own answers and make sure that she got them accurate as well. That about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below for more homeschooling, homesteading, and homemaking content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.